Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And my first job of the day today is uh, Berber. And I'm up kind of in the back area of Kelowna, over in an area we call West Kelowna. And I've got this living room. Got a really worn patch right here. Goes around the corner there. There's a flight of stairs I'll be doing and another one um, below this as well. And then this hallway over here. Let's see if we can get some light on there. There we go. And it's 22 years old. Um, actually, really quite good condition considering the age. Um, but it does have some wear. There's some compression of the yarn. This is an olefin uh, Berber. Pretty heavy loop Berber. So, um, and. Um, I'm going to turn that that way. It's, um, as I say, it's actually really in quite good condition for the age. For 22 years, it's actually in very good condition. And um, so I did a good pre-vacuuming of it. It actually looks like it's really well cared for. There's nothing obviously um, deteriorating on the carpet other than just kind of normal wear and tear. So I'm just going to give it a, I'm just giving it kind of a light little pre-spray. I'm using the Omega Citrus here. Just kind of putting it onto the more obvious areas. Obviously the couch was sitting here. You can see it's uh, faded out all around. And there's a, well, it must have been a spill of some sort that was here. But again, overall, this carpet is actually looking for the age. It looks really good. So let's see what happens. I'm using Nanomax two ounces per gallon, which is a zero health rating cleaning product, neutral pH, um, made 97% food grade plant ingredients. So a very safe and effective cleaning product. And I've got a hog's hair fiber pad under the machine right now. And the hog's hair, well, any fiber pad will clean these burpers as well. But the hog's hair, it's uh, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, Berber, very hard fiber. And the hog's hair will really strip the oils and soils off the carpet fiber very effectively. And the hog's hair is more of a fuzziness to it as well. And the... Uh, Hog's hair <laughs> is quite a stiff fiber. Um, but uh, it really does respond well to uh, this scrubbing action. It does need the scrubbing to keep, you know, to steam clean this would be, this is one of these carpets that's actually difficult to steam clean because uh, it really benefits from the scrub, and uh, then when it dries, that is the scrub of a, the machine, like what I'm using here, where steam cleaning, there's no real scrubbing action, just relying on the spray on the suck, but as the carpet dries, <coughs> the um, when you steam clean it, the moisture gets underneath the loop, and takes it a lot longer to dry, and it, it's one of the contributing factors to um, the wicking effect and why uh, Berbers can be a challenge to steam clean. You know, the other thing to bear in mind is that if I was using my OP machine, I would be having a little bit of a struggle right now because the OP machines tend to, on the heavier loop Berbers, which this obviously is, uh, an OP machine tends to kind of um, fight the uh, the way you want to go. I mean, they, they want to go one way, not another. Whereas with a rotary, it doesn't make any difference at all. It'll just smoothly glide across the yarn, regardless of whether it's a cut pile or an elephant berber. It doesn't make any difference at all. So, much easier. I've, uh, back when I was doing some experimenting with my OP machines, I've mentioned this before, I remember one carpet, which was very similar to this one, 
I was using my OP machine and it was just such a difficult carpet to uh, move the OP machine on. It was just bouncing around like crazy and I just went, thankfully I still had the rotary in my van. I went and grabbed the rotary and switched over to the rotary and it was uh, such a relief. And that was one of the reasons why, is one of the reasons why I, I, I do prefer to use a rotary. Because you never know what, you, what kind of carpet you're going to run up against. And the rotary is just much more uh, versatile. It'll do everything and do it well. And uh, so that's why I certainly prefer the rotary for residential anyway. One of the reasons. But... Anyway, so this is going to go quite quickly, as you can see. The only obvious mark is right where I'm at right now. There's a bit of a mark, and then over to my right there, there's a maybe a spill or maybe that was that's the most worn patch on the whole carpet i'm not sure <coughs> i'm just gonna zip behind here and i'll get this couch put back. It was uh, up against this door when I got here. Obviously they moved it there in preparation for my coming, but I'm going to get it out of the way for the moment. So we got this uh, obvious mark here. So we'll see what happens when I hit that. Well, what do you know? Well, that was easy. Well, that's usually what happens when I clean, when I'm cleaning with my machine here, particular particularly when I'm using the hog's hair. It uh, generally will remove most stains and soiled areas within a few seconds. I rarely have to really work an area very much because this machine is doing three 360 degree cleaning passes per second on the carpet. So there's an awful lot of action going on. One pass like I'm doing it now isn't one pass. It's dozens and dozens of passes. And generally what I'll do is I'll do the, the most soiled area first, and then I'll go, as I'm finishing off, I'll go over that soiled area one more time, if I think it needs it. So it gets multiple, multiple passes. I'm hanging up on the coach here. <coughs> Get on top of this uh, stairwell here, stairwell here again, and there was a, a pathway right here, which was much more obvious before, which is now virtually gone. Just a little bit of aware that's appearing there. And one of the things that happens is because I've got this bright light on it, as it shines down on the carpet, if it's soil, it'll look more obvious. But if it's just wear, it'll just disappear in the brightness of the floodlight. So that really tells me exactly what's happening. That's one of the reasons for the light. I can tell whether or not I'm actually dealing with soiling or just a wear effect on the carpet. You can see that the, there's, it's totally disappeared, the darker appearance, because that's just wear.
So that's the little spot right there, which is pretty much gone. So there you go. Let's move that couch out. table I guess it is. So I'm just going to go over the entrance to the kitchen and over to the door there one more time. There's wear there. And one more little scrub will be beneficial, I expect. bottom of the steps here there's usually a bit of a worn patch right there where the where people land on the uh, hallway okay we're ready to switch over to the Iron Man. And I don't expect I'll be needing to post vacuum groom this carpet because it's such a stiff yarn. Won't be needed to be done. Adding a little bit of moisture there to the pad. But mostly I won't be putting much on at all with the Iron Man. Just make sure I'm paying attention to the uh, friction. Just needs enough to do the job without washing the soil into the backing. That's not a good idea. That'll create all kinds of problems. So. but I don't want it to be dry either. And you can tell that with the rotary, you can feel if it starts to bind. 
You don't want that. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer to shower feed, because I can react to the um, any time that I feel that the carpet is too dry, I can immediately add without any hesitation. Top of this landing did look quite grubby, now it looks just great. first. And then I can put that back. Looking good. back sitting outside. taking care of this carpet actually easy to tell that just the two of them no kids no pets Completely gone. It was right about where I'm at right now. 100% gone.
looking underneath where the couch is. And then I'll be done. I just have to do the steps. And that won't take very long. So, thank you for watching. I'll let you go. Have a nice day.